We've mentioned at this point that P680 transfers electrons one at a time to pheophyton, and then it transfers electrons to plastoquinone and plastoquinone B, and so on and so forth. Now, some of these electron transfers are two. Um, for example, plastoquinone transfers two electrons to plastoquinone B. Plastoquinone B transfers two electrons. It's very complicated. It's not really so much important to understand how many electrons are transferred, what's the mechanism of the enzymes, but this cytochrome B6F complex is going to be very critical, and now we're going to talk about it. The thylakoid has two main areas, a stroma and a lumen, all right? Cytochrome B6F pumps protons from the stroma into the thylakoid lumen. Here is something that's very important. This creates a proton gradient, all right? It turns out that not only do mitochondria have ATP synthase, chloroplasts, particularly the thylakoids, also have ATP synthase. In fact, this proton gradient is actually going to function analogously and completely homologously, I should say, to the ATP synthase in mitochondria. It's very interesting. So this cytochrome B6F, remember, it's receiving electrons ultimately from P680, but it's going through these series of electron acceptors and donors, and then finally it donates electrons to cytochrome B6F. It's basically, for all intents and purposes, going to use the energy from those electrons to pump the protons, okay? And by pumping protons from the stroma into the thylakoid lumen, you create a proton gradient. And just like in the mitochondria that you've learned about in the past, that proton gradient powers ATP synthase. And if you don't remember what ATP synthase is, it's the one of the most important enzymes we'll ever talk about. It's the enzyme that makes the majority of ATP. Okay? This process right here has a special name. It's called photophosphorylation. It uses the power of photosynthesis to phosphorylate ADP to make ATP, and that's catalyzed by ATP synthase. If you want more detail on ATP synthase, we have a whole video on that. Here's a key point that most people forget. ATP is made by both chloroplasts and mitochondria in plants. Here's the ATP that's produced ultimately by ATP synthase, but it's powered by the cytochrome B6F complex. All right? The ATP is one of the first important products that we get from the photosystems, particularly from, this is basically photosystem two, all right? That ATP is gonna to go to what we call the Calvin cycle over here, which is part of what we call the light independent reactions. Photosystem one and two are light dependent reactions, all right? And now we're going to basically get into a discussion of photosystem one. And we're going to find it's basically identical in function, or at least very, very similar to the function of photosystem 2. Now, the electrons from cytochrome B6F, they don't just stop there. You can see it here if you look, but ultimately those electrons are transferred into what's called an electron carrier that's actually identical to what we saw in the electron transport chain in the mitochondria, ubiquinone. It turns out there is a Q cycle in here, just like there is in the mitochondria, particularly in complex three. There's a Q cycle, and this ubiquinone is gonna re reduce to ubiquinol. Ultimately, this ubiquinol is gonna transfer its electrons to a protein called plastocyanin. And it turns out you can see plastocyanin right here. Plastocyanin's function is to take the electrons that were given to the cytochrome B6F complex and transfer them to photosystem one. 